Logo the Snake here. When Aiden got hit by a car, he lost his ability to clean snake cages. His job was stolen by this guy. Now, Aiden's main task is to create content for you. He abuses his powers as a Reach Out Reptiles employee to get interviews with reptile people he finds, little hashtaggy fingers, cool. Welcome to Takeover Tuesday, the segment on this channel that is finally kinda cool. Hi! What's up, Kevin? How's it going, man? Hi, guys. Now I can hear him. I can't oh, this hear is you, so but exciting. <laughs> thanks for coming on, Hi, dude. Aiden's a big Hi. fan. Obviously, we're all big fans <laughs> of yours, so... Thank Appreciate you. you, brother. Oh, this is so exciting. This is crazy. I've been watching you for like on YouTube forever since I was little. This guy makes me feel old like <laughs> every day. He's like, oh my gosh, I, I watched you when I was two years old. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Good. So you have already accomplished so much in the reptile industry. Like what is your biggest goal moving forward? I guess I think what my final thing would just be to like opening the um, reptile type zoo. Yeah, I want to have these big glorious cages and really to enjoy your animals and make you feel like, you know, you've achieved, you know, like that place where you have a, a fantastic collection of animals that you love and you can put them in a situation where people can see them and ultimately, you know, fascinate people, get them to think about a rainforest, think about a coral reef, think about you know any of that stuff so they're great you know ambassadors of education don't mind my uh, i have a lot of bird chickens and, i know i can hear them <laughs> i hear them very annoying <laughs> I'm the only birds i have are parakeets and they're a I little bit parakeets. annoying yeah i love them too i love budgies yes yeah. very very cute especially when they're from us yeah that's a good goal um educating people on animals and wildlife is always important. So what message do you want people to gain from your content? But I want people to go, wow, this guy's really helping me open my mind. When they see something that I'm doing, make them think differently, maybe about the animals that they have, and maybe take an animal that they thought was, uh, you know, mean or whatever, and use my techniques and help make it social. Cause I love doing that. When I can change somebody's success as far as uh, keeping some of these animals. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> I'll throw brums at you. <laughs> there we go. Education is key and presenting ourselves as being uh, not crazy. <laughs> hey, get <laughs> out of here. <laughs> get. <laughs> wow. This is terrible. See, you have no interviewee like me. <laughs> what is your favorite reptile? <laughs> Can you pick uh, one? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> pick one, huh? <laughs> I only get one? <laughs> oh, one. I mean, you can pick a few, but your um, all-time favorite. I'm really keen on uh, a water monitor lizards. Mm-hmm. They're, uh, They're really cool. Highly intelligent, uh, very rewarding when you have a good relationship with one. To mm -hmm. the point, like you're like, how can you be like this? You're a lizard. But I like so much stuff. Obviously, I love ball pythons, reticulated pythons. But there's just there's just so there's so much. Yeah, there's I, so many. I know. I get I, it. <laughs> do it. I can't pick a favorite either. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Do you have any dream animals that you don't already have? Or do you have every animal that you want? Oh, no, no. Um, I would probably like to mess around with uh, uh, Komodo dragons. Ooh, yeah, yeah, that would be really cool. I would love to produce some um, leucistic king cobras. Your leucistic king cobra is my, f my favorite animal that you have. That oh, and, uh, and snarfles, I love snarfles too. Oh, snarfles is. <laughs> Yes, snarfles. Everybody wants snarfles videos. <laughs> so much other stuff, but he's he's just the fat guy right now. <laughs> but yeah, there's always there's dream animals. A lot of dream animals is like, you know, I'd like to make albino mangrove snakes, mm -hmm. and I'd like to make um albino T negative albino black dragon water monitors. And yeah. Yeah. There's there's a huge list of dream animals. This is one of my 
one of my dream animals that I got. Um, this is Lilith. She's a uh, anery, seventy-five percent super dwarf. Yeah. She's really cool. Show the tail. The little yep. kink tail. I love her. She's really, she's really, really pretty. Since working here, I keep, I keep getting more retics. <laughs> I keep getting so many. Problem. I'm my own biggest customer. <laughs> I keep so much stuff, and I do. <laughs> Yeah, Forever. it's it's hard not to, I feel like. Like, I get it. I understand. It's hard not to keep them. <laughs> what is your favorite breeding project from a personal standpoint? I still think it's probably breeding uh, monitor lizards. They're a challenge. The eggs take six months to hatch. Getting, you know, a good clutch of eggs, getting the pairing where they don't, you know, hurt each other and getting mm -hmm. egg, hatching them. And then you get to see the little noses sticking out. The the monitor lizards, it's that brain. It, it's just like a little lizard dog, you know? Yeah. So, and it's just so much work, but when you do it and you do it right and you hatch those babies, that is a huge, huge accomplishment. Because if you like a cat or a dog or your parakeets that, you know, clearly have uh, an affinity for you, and you start seeing that in a lizard, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's kind of like different. You're just like, mm -hmm. how can you be this smart and this not lizard-like, but they are. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that makes me want to get one. <laughs> now I want one. <laughs> All right, so the next question is a long one. I kind of got to explain it to you. This was, Garrett came up with this idea, this question. <laughs> it's, I wrote I down. I tend to be a little long-winded. <laughs> So if I ask Garrett or Rob or anyone, what is the most important um, question to ask Kevin? They will all have a different answer. Everyone would always come up with a different question. So Kevin, what is in your opinion the most important question to ask you? That's a good question, right? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> What's the like, I know when I'm playing truth or dare, I'm like, oh, dang, I hope they don't ask this one. But no one else knows it, so I'm safe. Um, so in Kevin's perspective, what's the most important question to ask Kevin McCurley? One of the most important questions I have is if we fast forward our, our industry in 10 years, where are we going to be? I, I think everything has been changing so quickly. Having all sorts of animal rights that really are trying to shut us down. And I saw these legislators trying to ban all importation of animals. So they're saying basically that uh, the animals are gonna be uh, the carriers of some new pandemic. And that's not true. It's yeah. so inaccurate. But if they do get to freak people out and scare people, they basically um, could win. Shut up! <laughs> Tell me. Hold on one sec. Can you hold on one sec? <laughs> yeah. He's going to get his birds to so be quiet. <laughs> hey! Uh, one more sec. <laughs> get out of here. Yeah. I guess we'll see you later. <laughs> He's chasing the chickens away! <laughs> It's terrible. That was my last question, but do you have any questions for me? Do I have any questions for you? Uh, <laughs> so, so Aiden, how long have you been keeping reptiles? Um, I've been keeping reptiles for like four, five years now. Um, okay. Right when I started high school, I went on YouTube, watched a whole bunch of reptile videos and got obsessed with it. I got a blue tongue. For my first, for my first reptile, and then after that, I became obsessed, and I haven't stopped since. So. Well, well, Aiden, how many reptiles do you have? Um, well, I gotta count in my head real quick. I know I have nine snakes. I think I have more lizards than that, though. No, maybe I have the same amount of lizards. I think. So you might, you might have eighteen or twenty reptiles. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. And, and a couple parakeets. Okay. I have three pairs. What is, what is, what do you plan to do with all your reptiles? <laughs> what is your goal? Well, for the retics, I want to, I do want to breed retics. The rest, are, yeah, they're all. The rest of them are just all pets. So you would call yourself 
may be a compulsive but glorified keeper, right? <laughs> That's interviewing some ridiculous person <laughs> like myself that can't give you simple answers. <laughs> uh, well, I will tell you, one of your goals should be is to create your own life. When you actually hatch out, whether it's a baby leopard gecko or two baby leopard geckos or a clutch of reticulated pythons, you can sit there and go, wow, I did that. I'm responsible to like, I put these animals together. I kept them well enough where they bred. That's a really nice accomplishment. Mm -hmm. And I think that is a, a wonderful goal for many keepers is do something like positive, you know, in that respect, yeah. making more of them, I think is wonderful. And uh, I think that would be a really good goal for you to set for yourself. Because besides keeping animals, the next step would be keeping them well enough where you actually get them to reproduce. And then you're yeah. successful hatching those babies. Just, I've been planning a visit uh, up your way and was gonna ask if you knew any good vegan joints in the area. Uh, here, we'll, we'll cook you vegan stuff. You're not a vegan. Cook vegan stuff. Oh man, I got to refer you're, yeah, that's a You're not a vegan. Are you, you are still vegan, right? Yeah, I'm a cheating vegan, yeah. 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 But I yeah. just, you know, when you say cheating, it's like here and there you'll have like, you know, pizza or, or, or whatever. Um, but I'm not, I'm not like one of those, oh, because I'm a vegan and you eat cows or whatever. I, I don't. I don't really have any real problems with any of that. Yeah. I just uh, I just don't want something to die every time I want to eat, you know? No, I, I'm a vegan. I'm a vegan as well, so. Oh, good yeah. man. So I, think yeah. I, I definitely did do it just so I could be more pretentious, but, you know, to each his own. Yeah, I, I try not to be. I can certainly be that way. <laughs> uh, I definitely think it's, you know, it's healthier, but... You know, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be uh, an elitist or anything like that. It's just like, I love animals so much. I just, I don't really, the least. Seems like a obvious, conflict of interest after a yeah, while. Really yeah. conflicting. No, I get it. I get it. So That's just the way I am. We, we have all these reticulated pythons that eat rodents. <laughs> and it's like, I don't need to do it, you know? Well, we still, like, I mean, I don't know if Aiden told you, but like his favorite animal is a rat. You know what I mean? He I loves love his rats. rats. I love them so much. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I, I don't know. You know, it just, you know, just having respect for these animals and trying to be kind to them and, 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 and being good to them, even if you have to feed it to a snake, I'm about that too, you know? I love yeah. rats. My yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. I, I, love, I have incredible animal empathy. I'm very empathetic for animals. What you should have if you're yeah. going to get into an industry like this. You know what I mean? Otherwise, things go pretty bad pretty quick. I would I would love people that, you know, that look at the reptile industry to realize that we're animal lovers. You know, we, we just, we love these animals so much. We want to include them in our lives, you know? Yeah. Even that one that just keeps making noises. Look at this thing. Look how mangy he looks. That's a curly feathered chicken that's molting. His name's Curly. He looks like. Oh like man, a, yeah. Like, I was looking yeah. at the. That's crazy. He's molting. Holy he's mammoth. got like, yeah, he's got this feather condition. You know. Wow. All right, I'll leave you guys, but uh, maybe we'll do this. All right, Kevin. We'll Thanks again, man. Another contact. Yeah. Thank you very much, hey, brother, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Bye bye. Bye. See you. Bye bye.